The Absa Cape Epic is back, and for the 13th time, the untamed African mountain bike race will capture the imagination of fans around the world, as pros and amateurs alike make their way through South Africa's stunning Western Cape region. The 1,200 riders have to tackle 652 kilometers of off-road riding, climbing some 15,000 meters in the next eight days. Situated on the doorstep of Cape Town, the Mirandal Wine Estate, with its iconic manor house, is the host location for this year's Absa Cape Epic Prologue. The 2016 race is shaping up to be a thriller as several teams in the world-class field are former world champions and previous Absa Cape Epic winners, jockey for the crown previously worn by five-time champion Christoph Sazer, who is no longer a full-time professional racer. In the women's race last year's second-place Ascenders Health team with Robin de Groot and Jenny Stenerhoek took the win. The South African-Swedish combination had a strong start to the race and with their finishing time of 1 hour 17 minutes and 35 seconds, they are 18.2 seconds ahead of last year's winners, Switzerland's Ariane Kleinans and Dane Annika Langfall of Team Spurs Specialized. De Kruert and Stena Haag will be wearing the Sassel women's leaders jerseys on stage one. In the men's race, Team Trek Sele San Marco A with Samueli Porro and Damiano Ferraro came home in third place. After a strong ride and a time of 1 hour 5 minutes and 44 seconds, the Italian team began their inaugural Absa Cape Epic with a surprise podium. In second place, Team Centurion Vado by Mirandal 2 with Nicola Rohrbach and Matthias Frommer had a great start to their first Absa Cape Epic as a team. Finishing in a time of 1 hour, 5 minutes and 36 seconds, the Swiss-German combination put in a promising performance for the upcoming seven stages. But the prologue victory went to one of the race favourites for the overall win, Team Bulls with four-time Absa Cape Epic winner Karl Platt from Germany and his Swiss partner Urs Huber. Looking strong throughout the prologue, Platt and Huber pushed hard and crossed the finish line in a time of 1 hour, 4 minutes and 34 seconds, setting themselves up perfectly for the rest of this year's race. Broad smiles on the faces of the prologue winners. The podium in the men's category with Karl Platt and Uzhuber of Team Bulls donning the yellow jersey, which they'll wear on stage one.